Although the economy is growing again, too many people are still feeling the pain of the downturn. This is Simone and Rich, and in this video I'll play a game with you. It is a psychological game and it shows the true nature of people. So you can play this game with anyone that you want to find out more about. In a minute I will be asking you a series of questions. I will ask you to imagine some objects. And if you think that you will not be able to remember your answers, then pause this video and take a pen and a piece of paper and then come back to this video. Now close your eyes and imagine a desert. Somewhere in this desert there is a cube. How does the cube look like? The net is controlled by a variety of entities. Uh, the most obvious is your internet service provider, and they control traffic according to their own acceptable, acceptable use policies. Um, but as far as ownership of the net, a lot of that belongs to governments who control the entire communications infrastructure in a given country. They may also place pressure on internet service providers and others uh, to, for various motivations. Uh, including thwarting activism or uh, regular police activities that are quite legitimate. Because the government not only censors the, in the cyberspace, but also tries to, uh, tries to penetrate to users' personal information. So it's very important for the users on the ground to protect their privacy, to be anonymous. In, on internet. That's very important that you know how to defend yourself, how to defend, how to protect your privacy. So people often have a subjective feeling of anonymity on the internet because you don't always have to sign your name to things. And you can access things without saying who you are, so it can feel very anonymous. Uh, certainly compared to everyday life, using the internet feels very anonymous. Technically, anonymity can be very difficult because even as you feel anonymous, you're often leaving traces behind that could identify you in the future. There are lots of tools, you just need to have the knowledge to get advantage of it. The internet may feel anonymous without any effort, but it really isn't. Your internet service provider can see what you're doing. Uh, they may sell that information to advertisers. Uh, your location is broadcasted, your physical location is broadcasted with an IP address. 
So you have to you have to use tools that protect your anonymity. You have to think about your behavior online. Even if you have a really good tool that provides anonymity, if you use it to tell people, "Hi, I'm Bob Smith, and I live at 101 Main Street." Ladies and gentlemen, every news service and newspaper is represented here tonight. And for your cooperation in the past, when complete secrecy was vital, we are grateful. However, I must make something clear. Although ours is not strictly a military project, a great deal of our research and knowledge falls within security regulations. Therefore, I must insist that you reveal only such information as appears in the authorized press release, which will be handed to you later. The press is to be commended for discounting, in most instances, these premature rumors, and so helping to minimize public apprehension. The Iranian nation will fully respond to any aggression or threats in a way that will demolish them from the inside, Hamenei said. An International Atomic Energy Agency report says Iran is developing a nuclear test facility. Israel believes that could threaten its very existence and refuses to rule out the military option in tackling Tehran. Britain's Foreign Minister William Hague said the IAEA report had completely discredited the Iranian claim that its program is peaceful. Britain, the US and France want to impose new sanctions on Iran. That suggestion has been dismissed by Russia as unacceptable. Moscow says the latest report contains no new information on Iran's nuclear plans.